Hello, my lovely friends, Desiree here, and welcome back to Dan Zeke Fitness. Thank you for joining me today for this 40 minute intermediate Pilates class. We're going to stretch and strengthen and sculpt and have tons of fun. Grab your mat, let's get started. Sitting up nice and tall, legs and feet hip width apart, hands behind the thighs, and just take a nice deep inhale here. Allow your rib cage to expand. Exhale, pull your belly button in, tuck the tail under, round your back and drop your head down. Keep breathing, feel that beautiful C curve in the spine. And rolling up sequentially, bone by bone by bone, sitting up tall, and release your head back. Good, bring your head back up to center and let's go forward again. Inhale, scooping the belly. Exhale, tuck your tail under. Round your back, drop the head down. Make sure those elbows are soft, shoulders are down. And just gently shake your head side to side, making sure there's no tension in the neck. Keep breathing and roll up to sit up nice and tall. Stack your shoulders on top of the hips. And again, drop your head back, let it go. Good, bring your head back to center and now let's release the arms. Roll your shoulders down and back so that neck is nice and long and chest is open. Inhale, scooping the belly. Exhale, tuck your tail, find your half roll back. And from here, let's inhale to float the arms up. Exhale, lower your fingertips all the way down to the floor. Again, inhale up and exhale lower. Good, keep this going. Making sure you're really keeping that deep scoop in the belly. Good, and really tucking that tail under. Shoulders stay down and level. Beautiful. Keep going. Nice. And from here, bring your arms back to center and let's just gently open and close the legs just to make sure we're not gripping in the hips or thighs. And steady the legs, let's do it again. Inhale up, exhale lower. And up, and down, and up, and down. Good, keep going for more. And down, good. Inhale up, exhale lower. Last two. And last one. Beautiful. Arms come back to center. And again, open and close the legs. No tension in the thighs or hips. Steady the legs. Use your core to roll up. And float the arms down. Nice job. Let's lengthen the legs out. Flex the feet. Inhale, arms come up. And exhale and just fold your body in half. Grab your toes if you can reach. If not, your hands go on your shins. Shake out the shoulders, shake out the head. Good, keep breathing and come up just enough to your beautiful flat back. Really flex those feet up. You should feel a nice stretch in your Achilles calves and hamstrings. Drop your head back if that feels good for you. And then release your back and head over the legs once again. Drop your nose down towards your knees and roll up through the spine, yes. All right, from here, let's go back to that same half roll back position. Feet flat on the floor, legs hip width apart, roll your shoulders down and back. And again, inhale to scoop, exhale to tuck and roll about halfway back. Open your arms out to the side like a T and just keep breathing naturally as you circle your arms. The bigger the circle, the more your core has to work. So just make sure you're working within your range. Good, keep circling. Very nice, and bring your arms back to center. Again, open and close those legs. No tension in the thighs, no tension in the hips. Your core is doing all the work here. Open the arms out to the sides again, and go for your circles. Breathe deep. Shoulders stay down away from the ears and they stay nice and level. Keep going.
beautiful arms come back to center and again open and close those legs great job steady the legs use your core to roll up and float the arms down hands go behind the pelvis scoot your feet in a little bit so we can lift up into our reverse tabletop lifting up feel a straight line from knees to shoulders squeezing those glutes engaging in the hamstrings the core is working arms back working a lot of muscle groups here good and lower your pelvis back down nice and gently and let's go up again pushing the floor away lifting up good and let's lift the right heel left heel and then we go down down up up down down up up down down and again up up and now let's lead with the left left heel up right heel up left heel down right heel down again up up down down two more times and last round here beautiful take a deep breath and gently lower your pelvis back down to the mat beautiful lengthen those legs out nice and long lengthen your arms out nice and long feel your back nice and tall inhale scoop exhale tuck your tail and roll your way all the way down to the mat and continue the arc with your arms let's go for our roll up inhale fingertips to the sky tuck your chin reach forward exhale peel your spine off the mat and round over your legs nose to the knees from here scoop your belly tuck your tail and make your way back down make this movement as smooth as possible let's go for it again reaching up tucking the chin reaching forward peel your spine off the mat and again fold your body in half really nice job everybody from here we're going to take our halfway point pause make sure your shoulders are down and let's take a twist to the right body comes back to center and then we take a twist to the left do it again exhaling on your twist and inhaling body comes back to center exhale twist left inhale body center good go again to the right and center really twisting from the waist left and again right and left very nice from here flex those feet inhale use your core sit up tall and again exhale fold your body in half good enjoy this stretch hopefully those hamstrings are starting to feel nice and loosey-goosey shake out your shoulders shake out your head make sure there's no tension in the upper body and take your time rolling up to a seated position really nice work let's go back to our half roll back again scooping the belly tucking the tail and from here round your arms in a ballet first and let's pulse it down inhale exhale inhale exhale and three and four hold it here twist to the right keep breathing and just float your right leg up and gently lower the leg down bring your body back to center and again pulse one pulse two really scooping and tucking the tail under twist to the left lengthen the left leg long lower down and bring the body back good let's do it again pulls down and two really scooping and tucking twist right lengthen that leg as long as you can make it lower down body back to center and again pulse and two and three four times twist to the left really twist from the waist lengthen the leg up and out 
take it down and bring the body back good flex those feet sit up tall and again let's fold the body in half good nice deep breaths here shake out the upper body And take your time rolling up sequentially through the spine, sitting up nice and tall. All right, friends, let's make our way all the way down to our mats again. Scooping the belly, tucking the tail, take your time, stay in control. Lower your body and head down, and let's come to our home base position. Hug the knees into the chest, take some deep breaths as you rock your knees side to side, massaging out your lower back. And from here, let's keep the hands connected to the shins. Use your core to crunch up high. And I want you to extend your right side. Right arm, right leg. Keep breathing. And just feel a long, beautiful line from your fingertips to toes. Come back to your cute little ball position. And then we do the same thing on the left. Lengthening your left leg, left arm. Stay in that nice high crunch. Keep imprinting your spine. And return back to your cute little ball. Good. Now let's pick up the pace. Right side out. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it in. Left side. Inhale out. And exhale in. Keep going. And out. And in. Left side. And bring it in. Good. Keep going, everyone. Make sure you're not arching your back. Think about that little blueberry under your back. Keep crushing it into your mat. And left side. Very nice. Beautiful job, friends. Let's take a moment. Return back to your home base position. Rock your knees. Turn your head side to side if you need to. Good. Let's go to variation number two. Place your hands underneath your bottom just to ensure that we really maintain our imprint. Use your core to crunch up nice and high. And let's take the left leg, extend it out, bring it in, and then extend it up. And then bend it back down. Same thing with your right leg. Inhale out. Exhale in. And keep your knees and thighs glued together to lengthen your leg up and bend it in. Go again. Left out, left in, left up, and bend it down. Right side. Inhale. Exhale in. Inhale up and exhale in. Good. Again left. Bring it in. Always striving for your longest leg line possible. Even if you can't stretch your leg all the way, just as long as you're always striving to stretch it as much as you physically can. Good, almost there. And here's your right side. Lengthen out, bring it in, stretch it up, and bend it back down. Beautiful, all right. Hug your legs, lower the head, take some nice deep breaths. Rock your knees side to side. And let's revisit variation number one. And this time we're going to add a little embellishment. Hands go on the shins. Use your core, crunch up. Lengthening out your right side first. And we kick the right leg towards that right arm. Lower the leg, return back to your ball. Same thing on the left. Inhale out, exhale kick. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bring it in. Right side out. Kick up. Lower down. Bring it in. Left side out. And kick. Lower. Good. Nice job. And right. Long legs, everyone. Keep imprinting your spine. Keep crushing your blueberry. Don't let your back arch. Yes, and right side, keep going, we're almost there. And left side, last time. You 
you did it, beautiful. Lower the head down, take a little break, come back to your home base position, rock the knees. And let's go back to that variation number two. Sit on your hands, use your core to crunch up, and this time let's do both legs together. Inhale out, exhale in. Inhale, lengthen up, and exhale, bend back down. Good, and out, and in. Lengthen up, and bend down. Keep going, everyone, inhale, exhale in. Inhale up, and exhale down. Yes, keep going. Stay in your nice high crunch. Don't let your head fling back. Keep imprinting your spine and keep lengthening out those legs. Again. Good, keep going. And again. Good, you did it. Grab onto those legs, lower the head down back to your home base and rock those knees side to side. Good job, everyone, that's a tough one. Okay, up next I have a wonderful oblique series for you. So let's really cinch the waist. Lace up your fingers, place your hands behind your head, heels together, knees apart, and crunch up nice and high. Let's go for our wiggles. We are exhaling on each bend. And remember, you're moving your upper body as well as your lower body in this exercise. So think of your knee and elbow going the same distance and meeting one another in the center. Keep wiggling side to side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, keep it going. Keep those elbows wide, keep the knees wide. Good, keep going my friends. And steady your body in the center. Lower the head down and just place your hands on your knees and just stir your legs around just to release those hips a bit. Okay, oblique exercise number two. Bend your legs at a 90 degree angle, arms go out to the side like a T. Let's go for our TikToks. Squeeze your legs together, lower them down gently to your left, and then use your core and arms to bring the legs back to center, and then we tilt the legs to the right. Good. Let's keep going side to side. And to really challenge ourselves and work our core, we're not going to lower our legs completely down. See if you can hover your legs just an inch off the floor and then really use your core to bring the legs back up. Nice work, everyone. Keep going again to the left and to the right. You did it, all right. Lace up your fingers, stick with me. We have our crisscrosses up next. Make sure you're really twisting from the waist, elbows stay wide. We go opposite elbow to knee and switch. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, let's keep going with our crisscrosses. No cheating, keep those elbows wide. Remember, the twist has to happen from the waist. So if you're just moving your arms and bringing your elbow to your knee, that's totally defeating the purpose, okay? No cheating. Keep going, my friends. You can do it. Strong exhale on each twist. Yes. Keep going. Almost there. And you did it, beautiful. All right, 
Return back to your home base position. Take some nice deep breaths. Rock the knees. Turn your head or stir your legs, whatever your body needs. Let's do those three exercises one more time, but we're going to add in some embellishments. So back to our wiggle position. Use your core to crunch up nice and high. From here, friends, we are going to stretch the legs up. Open to your straddle split. Squeeze the heels and inner thighs together, then bend the knees. And then we wiggle side to side four times. Again, legs up, open, squeeze, and bend. And wiggle one, two, three, four. Good. Do it again. Lengthen up. Keep your external rotation. Use those inner thighs to squeeze the legs together. And wiggling four times, exhaling on your bends. And again, go up and open wide. Squeeze it in and bend. Wiggle one, two, three, and four. Great job, friends. All right. Lower the head down, stir those legs around to release the hips. And we'll go back to our TikToks. Let's embellish our TikToks by just amping up our leg position. We're going to cross the right leg on top of the left. Arms are out to the side like a T. And again, tilt your legs to the left. Use your core to bring the legs back up and then swap legs. Left leg is on the top, so you tilt right and bring the body back to center. Good. So keep alternating sides. Remember, whatever leg's on the top, you need to tilt in the opposite direction. So when your left leg is on the top, you tilt right. When your right leg is on the top, you tilt left. And again, just like we did before, try to challenge yourself by not lowering your legs all the way down to the floor. Try to hover your legs just an inch off the floor and then really use your core and use your arms to lift your body back to center. Keep going, friends. Beautiful. All right, you did it. Take a little break. Return back to your home base. Deep breaths here. Okay, let's get ready for our crisscrosses. This time, let's go for a two slow, three quick rhythm. Crunch up high, and we go left elbow to right knee. One, twist two, and one, two, three. Hold it here. Extend your right leg. Bend it in, and lengthen and bend good go again too slow inhale exhale inhale exhale and a one two three now we extend the left leg and lower inhale lengthen and exhale bend go again twist and two three faster one two three lengthen long again strive for your longest legs and lengthen Good, go again, elbows wide, twist it out. Two, and one, two, three, lengthen long, bend it in, lengthen long. So good, you guys, beautiful. And return back to your home base, yes! That one's a tough one, but oh, so good. Take some deep breaths here, rock your knees, turn your head, stir your legs, whatever your body needs. And let's move on to some shoulder bridge exercises. Legs and feet about hip width apart in the parallel line. When you're ready, peel your pelvis off the floor. Feel your hips lifted and level. Reach your fingertips up to the sky and let's just pulse the hips up. Down up and two and three and four really squeezing the glutes at the top of the lift beautiful and again squeeze it up make sure you're breathing here just breathe naturally 
Good job, everybody. Hold this last repetition. Lower your arms on the floor for support. And I want you to release your right leg in the air. Knee is bent at that 90 degree angle. Pushing into the floor with the left foot and arms. Don't change anything else. Lower your right foot down and let's test out the second side. Release your left leg. There shouldn't be any twisting or shifting or dipping of the hips. Keep them up, keep them level. And lower the left foot down. Release your arms up and let's go for those pulses again. One and two. Lift up three and four, five and six, seven. Good. Give me eight more. Squeeze the glutes. Two, three, four, and five, six, seven. Hold this last one. Eight. Good. Feel your hips lifted and level. Lower the arms down, release your right leg in the air once again, and this time, see if you can stretch your leg up all the way. Lengthen, lengthen, strive for your longest leg. Hold it here, and let's go for some leg kicks. Lower your leg down and kick it up. Down and kick it up. So when you lower your leg, we're not actually placing our foot on the floor. Your leg is parallel to the floor. Good, and as you kick it up, try not to add in any extra movement. Just that right leg moves from the hip joint. Good, lower your right foot down. Let's try it on the second side. When you're ready, release your left leg. Take your time as you lengthen your left leg as long as you can make it. From here, we lower the leg so it's hovering the floor, and we kick it up. Good, keep going everyone. Longest left leg you can make and just really press that right foot into the floor nice and strong. Arms can help you too, press your arms into the floor. Keep going, keep breathing. And lower your left foot back down, woohoo! All right, hold your shoulder bridge, stick with me. We are not done yet. Let's go back to our pulses, buns of steel. Come on, you can do it, pulse up. Keep lifting and squeezing those buns. Good, we have eight more. You can do it, keep going. Good work, everyone. Hold this last rep and slowly roll down through the spine back to your mat. Bring the knees into the chest, lengthen your legs up, flex the feet, and fold your body in half. Grab onto your toes. If you can't reach your toes, hands go on the calves or thighs. Crunch up nice and high and just enjoy this beautiful stretch. Let's open the legs out to the side to our center or straddle split. Stretching out those inner thighs. Good, and let's bring the legs back together. Take a nice deep breath here. Bend the knees. And lower the head down back to your home base position. You guys are doing so well. Stick with me, we are almost there. We are more than halfway done. Let's finish strong and move on to a nice little side series. Come lay down on your side. Remember, your legs should be slightly in front of your torso, so we're not laying in a perfectly straight line here. Let's make a jazz passe. Extend your leg in front of you, lift it up, and we lower down with control and then internally rotate it back to your parallel line. Knee comes in, lengthen long, lift it up, and lower down with control. Good, two more repetitions, everyone. Make sure your core is working to help really keep your body nice and stabilized. And last rep here. Knee comes in, jazz passe. Lengthen long in front, arc the leg up, 
and lower down with control. Good. Let's keep the top leg externally rotated and go into a beautiful développé to our side position. Lower the leg down and then we kick it up. Good. Do it again. Développé up. Again, striving for your longest legs and lower down, kick up. Good. Keep going. Développé side. Lower down and kick it up. And again, develop a side. Long legs. And lower down, kick it up. Very nice job. Let's lift up that leg and just enjoy this nice stretch. So just grab onto your leg, breathe nice and deep. Core muscles still working. And check this out. From here, we're going to roll onto the backs with control and go for our scissors. We slice one, slice two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep going, my friends. Crush your blueberry into the mat. Don't let your back arch. Very nice. Keep going, keep slicing, keep breathing. Good. Wonderful job, everyone. Grab onto your leg that you were holding onto and see if you can roll back onto your side. Hold the stretch. And from here, gently lower your leg down. And now we're going to roll onto the bellies. Sweep your arms behind, flip your palms to face the sky. Let's lift up in our back extension and we're going to pump the arms up. It's as if you're trying to slap the ceiling with your palms. Good, keep pumping, keep breathing. This is great for the triceps. Of course, we're also working the back, the core. Good, steady the arms, lower your body down. Give your hips a little rock side to side to release the back. And from here, flip your palms to face in. Let's go for a swim. Lift up in your beautiful back extension, float the legs up, and just kick, 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 and flutter the legs. Good, now we're working the entire back of the body. Back, glutes, hamstrings. Keep breathing and keep pulling your navel to your spine. Keep kicking, almost there and lower the body back down, nice. From here, let's just take a little break, shift back into your child's pose. Good, rounding the back, dropping the head down, arms in front, and just breathe nice and deep here. Great job, everybody. Stick with me. From here, we are just going to shift the body forward and prep ourselves in our tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Let's tuck the toes under and take a moment in our downward facing dog position. Get those heels down, feel a nice stretch in the shoulders, chest, back, hamstrings, calves, Achilles. And the same leg that you were just working in your side leg extensions, I want you to lift that leg up into your ponche position. Hold it here, breathe deep. Again, always striving for your longest leg lines possible. Lower your leg down and from here everyone, I want you to bend your knees and hover your knees and shins and then we are going to shoot out in our high plank pose and then shift back to your downward facing dog. Again, bend the knees, shoot out, and shift back, downward dog. Bend the knees, shoot it out, shift it back. Very good, keep going, bend. High plank, and shift back. Heels down in your downward dog, bend, shoot out, Shift back, we're almost there. Bend, shoot out, 
shift back and bend shoot it out and shift back yes bend shoot out and shift you did it all right lower the knees all the way down to the mat this time and again shifting back into your child's pose breathe deep and roll up through the spine okay everyone we got to do that whole thing one more time on the other side let's even it all out so coming down on your opposite side remember legs are slightly in front of the torso so we're not rocking and rolling lift up out of the floor engage in your tummy muscles here we go jazz passe extend arc the leg up and lower the leg down with control beautiful three more times make this movement nice and smooth nice and fluid good and again jazz passe lengthen long arc the leg up lower down with control last rep here nice work Keep that top leg externally rotated and we develop the leg to our ala second position. Lower down and big round bop mall. Yes. And again. Lengthen the leg long. And big kick. Beautiful. Keep going, everyone. Core muscles always engage so we stay nice and centered and stabilized. Beautiful job. Grab onto that leg. Let's take a moment to enjoy this stretch. And remember, from here, we're going to transition onto our backs. Try to do this slowly and with control. And here we go, scissors. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And slice and slice. Beautiful. Keep going. Five and six and seven good give me eight more keep imprinting your spine crush your blueberry longest legs you can make and five and six and seven hold your last one good from here transition back to your side use your core stay in control make it smooth breathe and smile Good, slowly lower that leg back down and let's gently roll on to the bellies. Sweep your arms behind you, flip your palms to face up to the sky, lift up in your back extension and pump those arms. Good, really try to keep your arms close to your body. You should really feel this in your triceps. Navel to the spine, keep that core working. Breathe, keep pumping. And lower the body down, nice. Rock your hips side to side to release your back. And now flip your palms to face in towards your body. Let's go for a swim. Everything floats off the mat and flutter and kick those legs. Good, try to keep a nice, quick, steady pace. Kick, 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 kick. You're going to feel this in the glutes, the hamstrings, the back. We have the whole posterior chain working here. Keep going, friends. Good. And gently lower the body back down to the mat. Yes. All right. Let's take our little break. Shift back into your child's pose. Rounding the back, dropping the head down nice and heavy. Arms long in front. Breathe deep. Good, and let's shift our body forward into our tabletop position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And tuck your toes under. And let's shift back into our downward facing dog. Take a moment here, nice deep breaths. Try to press your heels down into the floor. 
Really try to drop your chest down to the mat as much as you can. And then when you're ready, release your leg into the air in your ponche. The same leg that we were just working in our side leg extensions. Reach your toes to the sky. Good, and gently lower that leg back down. From here, we're gonna go into that hover. Bend your knees, hovering your knees and shins. Shoot out to your high plank pose. And then we shift back to our downward dog. Again, hover, shoot out, and shift back, downward dog. And bend, shoot it out, shift back. Good job, everyone. Keep going, bent. Shoot out, nice strong plank pose. Heels down in your downward dog, bend. Shoot out, shift back, and bend. Shoot out, and shift it back, and bend. Shoot out, and shift your weight back, yes. And bend. Shoot out and shift back. You did it. All right, friends, lower your knees all the way down to the floor. Shifting back into your child's pose once again. Breathe deep. And take your time rolling up through the spine. Give your head a nice big circle both ways just to release. And you are done with this 40-minute intermediate Pilates class. I really hope you all enjoyed this. Please share this video with your friends and family. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how you did. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're always notified every time I upload a new video. Sending love and hugs your way. Take care of you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.